everybody, it's uh, Romania Black, and I'm doing something that I've never done before, and that is to do a makeup <laughs> video for Janu Yowie, because yes, we started Janu Yowie for 2024, and in Romania's quest to not be spoiled by whatever she's watching, um, I reviewed a uh, Jingai uh, San Noyome a few days ago. And I had been under the impression, based on recommendations, that it was a BL. And if you watched that video, you should go back and watch it. It's a fun series. It's bonkers and batshit crazy, but it's great. Um, but in watching that and reading the manga, I realized, oh no, this was not a BL, nor was, a, nor was it a romance. It was just a really funny kind of slice of life parody of romances. So there was that. But I felt like, for Janu Yaoi, damn it, I'm not going to be without romance all four weeks of the month. So I went back to some recommendations that have been on the Discord and I forget exactly who recommended this, but um, someone had recommended Our Dining Table, which is by Mita Ori, which is a one volume, so very fitting for Jin Yu Yaoi, a one volume little BL about a couple on the cover, two guys, have a kid, cool. Seems like that's gonna fit the bill, so. <laughs> had this on Janu Yaoi and then I thought an anime reaction would be much more engaging on my part and I've done so many manga reactions I'm like oh I don't feel like a manga reaction anymore for the time being but then after after a few days ago I was like oh no I need to <laughs> to make up for that so this is our technically Janu Yaoi week 1.5 <laughs> redo um so gonna make up for it with our dining table now the rest of the month for Janu Yaoi oh don't worry they're gonna be BLs I've pretty much I think got a seal of approval on that but if not we'll make it up again but um for this one I'm really excited because I have wanted to read this manga I went out and got it I'm pretty excited about it but it's only one volume, so it's like just a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Should be a lot of fun to look through a little manga reaction for this, this BL that I don't know anything about. <laughs> but whoever recommended this on the channel, I'd have to go back and look. But thank you for recommending. I really appreciate it. I hope you and everybody else enjoy this extra little slice of Janu Yaoi being put out there. But... So that's my motto. If, if I end up watching something for Janu Yaoi and it ends up to not be a BL, a GL, or a romance, then I'm going to make up for it because that's the only thing right I can think to do. So there you go. <laughs> so in any case, I'm really excited to dive into this and see what all we get. I hope you all are excited as well. But we're not going to waste any more time. We're going to dive into this manga and see what all it gives us. So we are going to look at Mita Ori's Our Dining Table. And we're going to do that here in three, two, one, and let's go. I, judging by this cover, I'm going to make a couple predictions. Obviously, I think the kid is the guy with the scarf. He looks pretty put together. He's getting the groceries and such. The guy next to him kind of is giving me like, if he looks like Akihiko from Given's younger brother, <laughs> who's a little more bishonen than Akihiko. Um, he looks like the scruffy, like, friend of the friend who's like, oh, you've got a kid, and oh, we'll see where this goes. So I'm pretty excited about this. I, I don't know what to expect, but I'm intrigued. Aww! And yeah, that one guy wearing the, the cardigan makes sense, right? Nice. Okay. And he's got the little rice ball. Adorable. Let's see what this is about, shall we? Our dining table. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. Seven chapters and an hour ever after. So yeah, a nice little one volume. Let's do this. Let's see what happens with a little afterward. I'm pretty excited. This little kid looks cute. I like that the, the blonde looks like he's hesitant about the relationship. So I'm curious to see what kind of tropes we get with him and the, the other guy as well. Okay, I'm off to lunch. Sound good. Uh, karage today and wakame salad. Oh, showing him picking up the groceries, and then is he going to get the kid? Oh, except for the onigiri I make, I pretty much live on ready-to-eat supermarket meals and salads. Oh, understandable. Uh, oh, does he not have the kid? Is this kid not his? What? Oh, uh, this rando kid, is he the blondes? Oh, my lunch, well, I did give it to him. Oh, what are you doing? Did you come by? Oh, so it's not his kid. Oh, I'm waiting for my brother. Oh, oh, it's not his kid. It's a brother. Okay. Oh, well, that changes things. 
That makes sense. They're both blonde. Why did I think otherwise? Oh, you're a genius, dude. Dude. Oh, here comes my brother. Oh, oh, we're giving lots of Kazuki vibes <laughs> with this. You idiot. What are you doing? What the hell are you eating? Oh, very interesting. I told you to wait by the register, not go wandering off. Oh, you brat. Oh, I'm really sorry. He's always wandering off and getting into trouble. Hold still, Onigiri! <laughs> oh, what in the world? Oh, so they, do they not know each other? I was under the assumption going into this that maybe they had a past, they knew each other from school or something, and the one guy went off and had a kid and then they met back up again, instantly being proven wrong. Cool. We're all gonna grab drinks after work. Should I invite Hozumi kun Nah, don't bother. He never comes anyway. Aww. And he's like, I can hear you. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. It's like they kind of gave up on him and they don't invite him because they don't think he's gonna join. And it's not like I would have gone anyway. I shouldn't let it bother me. Some days when I head home early, I grab food from the shopping district and I chase it down with a beer. It's time to eat. Oh, he took his glasses off. And just showing like him just there by himself without anything else to do. I mean, he's a nice guy. Yeah, just kind of boring. Eating with him is no fun. That's not it. It's not that I don't want to. I can't eat when you're around. I guess he's just no good at sharing a table. I wish I could enjoy eating more. Oh, that's really sad. So he just has this, he's had this mindset that he's just not, you know, interesting and that nobody wants to hang around him. I'm like, well, dude, you've just not met the right person. That's all. That sucks. Oh no, I hate that. Oh, he's got a little tear in his eye. Damn it. I should just forget about it and go to sleep. I think today I'll get shumai and tuna and corn salad. Oh, I, there's so much about his existence in this that I think is instantly relatable. Like the idea that if you if you are single and you live alone, like there's an, an idea of like feeling like you're not... There's like multiple things going on here with this character, which I really like. One, if you are single or live by yourself, you kind of have that understanding of like you get a routine with yourself going where you get your own food and you do this. I can relate because I'm not a good cook. So and cooking takes up so much time that I just can't get invested in it. And plus it's like if you're cooking for yourself, you're just like, like, or I could just eat this and not have to worry about it. Right. And then there's also the idea that I can totally relate to about not feeling like you're interesting feeling like people don't want you around like that's such a it can be a relatable feeling oh my god this poor guy oh there he is the onigiri man mister can you teach me to make onigiri like you do i love it he, like he kicks his brother he's like this isn't something isn't there something you need to say i'm sorry about eating your food the other day didn't mean to ambush you like this that's all right you see he said but the onigiri you gave him was amazing and he was dying to try it again. He almost never gets that excited about food. So I wanted to ask what was so special about it. Oh, well, I pretty much make it the normal way. Oh, just a second, please. I actually have some today too, here. Oh, it's huge, like an onigiri bomb. It's as big as your head. Oh, I love the little kid, he's like, yes. He's like, oh, don't eat it. And he's like, my onigiri, it's not yours. I'll make you one when you get home. But yours are yucky, would you say? It must be nice having a brother. Oh man, he's so sad. I just want to cradle him in my arms and be like, it'll be okay. And I like the other brother's like, if only you knew. <laughs> I'm a bit jealous. My family and I don't really talk. Mm. Since you like him that much, why don't we split it? Yay! I love the brother's like, yes, getting my way. What a strange situation I found myself in. Oh, okay. All right. I'm a sucker for gruff bad boy protagonist that has like the soft side. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for it. I very much am relating to the glasses wearing protag. And then I'm a sucker for the one standing next to him. So I see where this is going. I'm here. I'm supporting this. Do you want to come to our place to eat with us and to show him how to make that onigiri? Oh, well, you invited him, just so we're all clear. This dude, the blonde dude, invited the glasses boy, Megumi, back. So, 
we're, we're here, right? Right? Or is it Megany? -E? <laughs> He's like, oh, bye. I said yes without a moment's hesitation. He's like, what am I doing? They're complete strangers. When are you free? Oh, on weekends. Cool. Here's the address. The, the blob is very much being like, here, help me out here. This is where we live. It's a five minute walk from here. Oh, Uida Ceramics. Interesting. So does he do pottery or something or work there? Don't you have something to give him? His smile was so cute. It's so good. If you want, you can have my candy since you gave me someone a Guri. Oh, thanks. Oh, he wanted to give me this candy. Well, it was because of the brother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Second to heart of His scary brother said so. Yes. I couldn't say no. I love he's just sweating. Feeling the blonde is scary. Oh, my God. He seems like a sweet, thoughtful big brother. Maybe he only looks scary. That's right. That's right. It's only surface deep. It's only surface deep, right? Get that trope of you're not, you're not exactly, can't judge a book by its cover. But they're pretty far apart in age to be brothers. Yeah. The one seems like he's in his 20s and then the kid is like really little. But my mother and her sister are 16 years apart. So it is definitely possible, right? It's sweet. Mm. It's been so long since I had candy. I've only been eating ready-made meals and salads with Monogiri. It feels like I've sunk my teeth into something special. Oh my God, that line reading. Yes, yes. Tane, Minoru, dinner. Oh. Uh, interesting. Tane. Oh. Oh, is this, this is somebody else. Oh, Pop. Oh, their dad. You two are so late. The noodles are getting soggy. I work so hard to make them. Shio ramen with fried vegetables again. How many, how, we've had this how many nights now? At least it's what I'm best cooking at. There's so many flavors in every bite. It doesn't take too long either. Tane's eating it with no complaints. Tell him, Tane. Daddy's cooking is delicious, isn't it? It's better than Minoru's, I guess. Okay, so Minoru is the blonde. Oh, look at my onion. Okay, the little kid is adorable. I love him. Tane, Minner, and Daddy. So is the mom dead, I'm assuming? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Something's going on. Hurry up and eat or we'll all get soggy. There's something new flowing through me. Is there now? Okay, so he went home. So this is after he went home. Okay. Interesting. Or, okay, he hasn't gone there yet. Okay, so he hasn't made... Interesting, right? Has he made them... The... I'm going to go back real quick. Has he made him the onigiri? No. He just went... Yeah, he just went home and made it himself. He hasn't actually shown up to make the onigiri for them on the weekend. This is just after... He got the lollipop, he went home and is thinking about it, and then they're eating with their dad. Okay, cool. All right, chapter one. Oh, so that was just the prologue. Saturday, Uida Ceramics. Fun with ceramics! Okay, so is that the dad's business then? Is it okay to just go in? Yes! I love, I'm, that, again, this guy with the glasses is so dang relatable because I'm like, I feel the exact way, same way. I'm like, can I just, do I just walk in? Are you here for a trial ceramics class? Come in, I'm the teacher. Okay. He's like, no, no, no. I have plans with the guy that lives here. Oh, blah! <laughs> the dad's like, what with Minoru? Excuse me? So he does have friends. Oh my God. I like the dad. Stereotypical anime dad. Love it. I feel like anime dads are either one of two things. They are either the most stern, rigid, militaristic anime dad, or they're like, just like blushy and obsessed with their children's happiness. Like there's usually very far, few and far between, right? Minoru's out back, come in. So his name is Minoru. Big bro, I have a question. Which would you rather eat? Poop flavored curry or curry flavored poop? Duh, the curry. <laughs> the little kid's just on top of him. Oh, what about stew flavored diarrhea or diarrhea flavored, diarrhea flavored stew? Oh my God, what a gross little brother thing to ask. Oh, hello. It's the Onigiri man. 
I love them. I love their expressions. Yes. For real? Yes. <laughs> He's like, you did ask me to come. Ah. Tane, bring him some tea. Come on, Tane. Don't drop it. This was a catchphrase of Ken Shimura, a Japanese comedian, who would say it while making the gesture that Minoru's mom is making in the photo. Oh. Ain. Oh, so she doing something funny in the photo? Hmm. Okay, so yeah, it is the mom. Interesting. Now, it said there in the caption, Minoru's mom, so do they have different moms? Hmm. Oh, I forgot. There's no way he would actually come over. Oh, was this blush? Interesting. When I woke up this morning, I wondered if I should really go. Oh, no. I want you to have my candy since you gave us some gear. He's like, I made a promise. And I felt like I really had to come. Oh, Nagiri's better we make it together, isn't it? Oh, this little kid. The jaded older brother. It's been so long since I had weekend plans. I really am glad I came. Yeah. So what's your name, Onigiri man? Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mr. Onigiri. Hozumi Utaka. Ho oh, he says Yukata. Oh. And I'm Ueda Minoru. Okay, so Hozumi Utaka and Ueda Minoru. Okay. And I'm Ueda Tane. Mm. Nice to meet you. Yes, nice to meet you too. Okay. You can call me Tane. <laughs> Love it. Yes. Okay, so Minoru, Tane, and Utaka. Okay. Let's make some Onigiri with Onigiri Man. He's like, yeah! I, God, there's so much relatable about this because I feel like ever since quarantine and shelter in place, I feel like it's been hard to kind of like over the last few years, we kind of get in this bubble and going out and associating with people is really hard again. You have to kind of like relearn it. So the idea of Utaka kind of like being like, oh yeah, this is what's like hanging around people in the flesh is it's such a relatable emotion, right? Just so you know, I just make my own Agiri the regular way. You know, you can pick me up. <laughs> Onigiri man, come on! He's just like, like, Tane is just begging Yutaka to become part of the family already. But Tane loved yours. There's gotta be something you do different. Different? I make my rice with um, donabe, which is a special type of clay pot used in Japanese cooking. He's like, well, that is a pretty big difference. Oh, my rice cooker broke last year, so I gave the donabe a try and I liked the taste, so I kept using it. I'm only cooking for me after all. I love that Tane is like, he's such like a relatable little kid. He's like, I'm getting down now. Like he's just like, pick me up. And then he wants down immediately. Rice from the slow cooker should still be good. That rice looks a bit yellow and the smell. Do you wash the lid of your rice cooker? <laughs> You're not a great liar, is he? I'll take that as a no. Oh my God, I love Tane. He's just like fiddling with his leg. This is like the most relatable little kid ever. And yeah, yeah he's just out there drawing, right? Oh, he's drawing him. He's got the glasses and the hair. Can we just make it the way you do when you're at home? We've got our own Danabe. Oh, we use it for fried rice. I was gonna say, they have a ceramic shop. Surely they would have a clay pot lying around, right? And he's like, you wash the rice and you add water. 30 minutes, I love this little kid. Tane's great. You start with high heat. When you see the steam puff out, you lower the heat. Once the steam is gone, it's done. The Danabe is really fast. Do you like your rice crispy? Yeah, then let's make a bunch of it. Before, right before you lower the heat, crank it to high for 10 seconds. And here it is. Oh, it smells so good. It looks great. Okay, first things first. The middle is the most delicious part. Who wants it? Oh, I love that. I love that uh, Min Minoru was getting involved in this. Oh, and then scooping it up and feeding it to him off the spoon. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, Yutaka-san. Maybe the problem with our onigiri was the rice. Good rice, good rice. He's like, oh, well, it could be. I love he's like shaking Tane. From the sense he came all the way, let's make onigiri meeting. Basically, we're trying to make some quick filling, something quick and filling and nutritious. That's why I always go with Sanzoku Musubi. A big scoop, a big heap of rice onto the nori and the wrap. 
a regional onigiri that is large and completely covered in seaweed. Okay, I was going to say, it did look weird at the beginning that it was all wrapped up in seaweed, but that's just the, the regional way to do it. Cool. Nice. Why am I not doing that? Because I made onigiri over quarantine, again, because I was stuck at home and I was like, I might as well make it. And it was so freaking hard to get the seaweed and stuff, but if you just wrapped it all over, it made a bun out of it. Why didn't you do that? What do you like in your onigiri? Tanekun. Salmon and kombu. And just a little bit. Use just a little bit of salt. Take about half and roll it up, making a ball. Sushi nori is huge, right? What do you like? What do you like to use, Yukata? Well, it's Yutaka. <laughs> I like that he keeps calling him Yukata. He's like uh, tamago, yaki, and karage. Oh, it's kimchi natto. Oh, and kimchi natto. Oh, you're a natto fan. Oh no. Onigiri is all about freedom. No limits, Onigiri. I love this. This guy who's like a shut-in and introverted is like, it's all about freedom. I want to put hot dogs in mine. <laughs> Such an American answer for you. Let's give it a try. And we'll fry some eggs too. Aw. Aw. Gotta get the tea first. Oh, then I should get going. What? Stay with us and eat, Utaka. You got plans or something? Well, no, it's not that. Stay a little longer and eat with us. But I, but what? Mmm. Get lost. Food tastes worse when you're around, Yutaka. It's just, I have a sort of a hard time eating with others. Oh, <laughs> just like, quit it. <laughs> oh, try it. Oh my God. Yes. This is so sweet. I love this. Where he's like, come on. Oh, it's yummy. Oh, I get very like, um, oh, not Shion from Seaside Stranger, but the other one. I get vibes about like him and Kusakabe vibes, not Kusakabe, but Katsuki vibes. Ah, I just get, there's lots of other BL characters I'm getting vibes from with him. It makes it so much more, I guess it is Shion from Seaside Stranger. It makes it more delicious eating together and making food together. So to recap, I gotta wash the lid of the rice cooker sometimes. <laughs> and we can cook the rice in the donabe. Maybe use a little less water than when you make it. It helps with the texture. Thank you, seriously. That little smile, it's funny. He doesn't seem so scary anymore. Oh my God, Tani with the baby sheep, yes. Eat then sleep, this kid's life got it rough. He's pretty lucky, Oh. Better be getting going. Okay, actually I gotta head out too. Oh, is it safe to leave Tane Kuna sleep like that? Yeah, my old man's in the other room. Is it just you two and your dad? Yeah. My mom died two years ago. I see. What about you? Me? I live alone. No, I just... The other day you said your family didn't really talk. Oh, I have my parents. An older brother, an older sister, and a younger sister. But my brother and I never got along. Mmm. Even now it's hard to go back to that house. Mmm. So you and your brother have, what, clashing personalities? It's not so much our personalities. It's more fundamental than that. Oh. Is it because you're adopted, Yukata-san? That kind of thing happens in dramas and stuff. That's actually true. Oh, wait. Well, seriously, I got it. Now I feel guilty. Ah, interesting. So my m work's this way. Oh, and my place is back this way. Seriously, thank you for today. No, thank you. I had a wonderful time. Cool. I hope you'll come over again. Tani was so happy today. I'm sure he'd love it if we could eat together again sometime. Besides, you said you have a hard time eating with others. It'd be good practice for you to practice with us. Oh my gosh, this is so sweet. Yes, please. Yeah, something new has made its way into my life, into my body. It's warm and full. Something shining. What are those? Those giant black things. Tony Goon, Daddy! <laughs> I made them with Minora and Yukata. Yukata, what a strange name. It's like a bomb. They're gonna explode, run! Oh, yay! Oh, oh my God, cute. 
Tanakun, you've got much better at going along with my jokes. Maybe, no. This is definitely what I've been looking for all these years. Oh. Hello, yes. Oh, Tanakun, yes, it's Yutaka, not Yukata. I had to leave while you were sleeping. Oh, him without the glasses and the cigarette? What? We'll get together and make something this week. Let me know what you want to eat. Oh, you're putting your brother on. Oh, yes. Well, hello. Yes. Curry. All right, curry it is. What is he going to do? Is he going to do a she's all that where he's like, ha ha, it's me. And it's like, wait, what? I, him smoking is so weird. I did not imagine that. Chapter two. Oh, my God. Oh, Tane, you're already up. It's so early. Yukata's not, he's still not here. He's not coming for another hour. Go back inside. You'll catch a cold. I'm going right here till Yukata comes. <laughs> Yukata's still not here. Today's the day I said I'd make curry for them. Was there something else I had to do today? No, it must have been my imagination. Oh, oh, Yutaka-san, morning. Could you come a bit earlier? Oh, Tane is crazy excited for you to come over. He can't wait to see you. Well, I'm so happy, of course. I'm just about to leave. Let's meet at the grocery store then. Aww! Let's make it a date! Yes! Aww, you gotta. <laughs> Sorry for rushing you. It's totally fine. I've been looking forward to this too. Aww. Him blushing! I'm just, come on now. Hmm. Oh. You've just got this big smile on your face. Nothing. I'm surprised to see you smile like that. Oh, I guess I'll... I guess I do. I guess I just love kids. Oh, good, good. That's good. Yeah, sure. Blame it on his brother. Mm-hmm. Should we use sweet potatoes? What should we do for the meat? I know every family has their favorite. I like beef. I want chicken. Let's sell it with rock, paper, scissors. Oh. You just had KFC last night. Oh my God. Yutaka. Oh, his brother. What are the chances? Long time no see. What are you doing? I'm shopping with friends. Today is dad's 60th birthday party. Didn't you see mom's email? Oh shit. That's what he was thinking of. Are you kidding me? I might have gotten it. Sorry, I've just been busy. So busy, but he still has no time. He still has time to shop with friends. Whatever, it's fine. You've always been like this. I'll at least let them know you're still alive. Oh. Oh, no. Takasan, are you okay? Oh, um... If you really have plans, we can make curry some other time. Your plans are more important. No, 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 let's do the curry. Yukata. Oh, I forgot you needed the bathroom, Tane. Oh, no! I'll oh, just hang on a second. Yutaka-san, don't pee yourself! Okay. I didn't expect to see my brother here. Oh, no, I'm sweating. We're adults now. But our flaws are still our flaws, and a coward is still a coward. You talk a coon. Starting today, you'll be part of our family. Think of them as your siblings and try to get along, okay? I don't want this wimp to be my brother. Do I have to share a room with him? Gross. It's nice to meet you. Maybe we should pass on a curry today. You talk a son. Oh, no. Really, I'm okay. No, Tommy's stomach is hurting. I'm real sorry. Are you sure? We shouldn't take Tane Kun to the hospital. Oh my God, he's just on the floor. Here's the belly wrap. No, it's fine, it's fine, and a futon. He gets like this sometimes, but once he lays down, he'll feel better. You caught it, I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry about me. Are you gonna leave and go home? Not yet. What would you like me to do, stay here with you? Yes, oh! All right, then I'll stay until your tummy feels better, Take Kun. Was that your brother we saw? He's a looker. <laughs> yeah. Not my type, though. <laughs> want to grab some? Want, to, want some grub? Oh, I'm starving. 
Oh, was that was that just a signal of mm, not interested in that kind of guy? But but hmm, so many options. I'm gonna have Oyako Donburi. Me too. When you send the vegetables, but earlier, oh sure. Oh, so I made this rice the way they taught us last time. Oh, it's great. Nice job. Who usually cooks at your house? Well, me, my dad, my grandma. I'll take turns. Your grandma, yeah, she lives nearby, so she brings us dinner sometimes. My dad and I suck at cooking, so she worries about us. She wants to make sure Tane eats good food so he can grow up big and strong. Not just instant or prepackaged crap. Yeah. I want that for Tane, too. So I learned to cook quality stuff for him, but some days I just at a point where I don't care. It's like I get tired. Aww. I like the head pats. They're there. What are you doing? Dude just patted my head. Oh, sorry. You just reminded me of Tane Kuhn. Of Tane. I'm sorry for bringing all that stuff up. No, I'm just sorry there isn't more I can do. Just having you here is more than enough, futaka -san. And you make Tane so happy. Speak of the devil. I'm the one. Oh, you caught a Tane kun. Oh, yeah, you're still here. Is your tummy feeling better? Yeah, I'm all better. Look here. <laughs> Put your stomach away. Oh, I heard voices, and now we have a guest. Daddy. Perfect timing. I got plenty of fries, so everyone eat up. Pop, Grandma is going to be pissed if you keep buying Tony all this fast food. Oh, come on, every now and then's fine. It's just a special treat. Fries! But you do it all the time. It's all right, isn't it, Tony Coon? It's all right. So blessé. Here, you caught a Coon. Have some. Oh, no, actually, it's Utaka. So, thanks. Aw. Utaka Coon, are you a friend of Minoru's from university? How'd you meet? Oh, no, I work full time. How old are you, Takasan? I'm 23. What? Oh, I had no idea we were the same age. I was sure you were older. <laughs> oh, wait, what? You're, well, you're so mellow and mature. No way, push me higher. <laughs> wow. I guess I should have been more casual when I talked to you. Is it cool if I stop adding San to your name? It's a pain. Sure, I'll do the same. Mino <laughs> Minoru. I'm practicing being less formal. You what? Minoru, Minoru, Minoru. Minoru, you're a good big brother. You don't need to put so much pressure on yourself. Earlier you mentioned how stressed you are about cooking for Tane. But looking at him, I can tell he's happy just having you and your father in his life. He's always so full of joy, and I think that's all he needs. I think for now you should leave the complicated things like diet and nutrition to your grandmother. I think if you just make meals fun for Takekun, then that's more than enough. Right now, even if you make him a perfect meal, it won't mean anything if he can't actually enjoy eating it with you. You caught it, huh? <laughs> I want to give you a leaf. Here's this pretty one. Oh, wow, thanks. Is this you speaking from experience? Here, take my scarf. You're cold? Let's head home. Oh, you caught a... When can you come over again? Probably next weekend. We'll definitely make you curry then. Maybe you can eat with us every weekend. Yeah. You should just come live with us. I don't think that'll work. <laughs> Best idea. <laughs> See ya. Oh, you caught a... Oh, he gave the scarf. That's a classic. I gotta come back and get that scarf, you know? <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, I love this so much because it's talking about, like, the idea, like, it's dropping little subtle hints that that Minoru is into guys, like dropping the subtlest of hints. And also it's, it's just, I, there's such an idea about this, about being with family that's toxic and if it's worth it, rather than being with like family that isn't toxic that you could make. It's like found family sort of thing. Like I want to talk about that when it's done with, but I really like that about this. Uh, just having you here is more than enough. When can you come over again? You talk. Yeah, because he wasn't like he wasn't used to that kind of family and that environment. What a lovely color! Why do you have a leaf? Oh, um, my friend's little brother gave it to me. I thought it might spruce up my desk. Oh, that's so sweet. Do you like kids? You talk a son. Oh well, that's quite a surprise. 
You know, if you press it under your desk mat, it should keep longer. I like this girl's just like sparkling, being like, do you want to have kids with me? And he's like, no. Mm, let's go to lunch. Where do you want to go? I want to see them so badly and the weekend's so far away. I really just want to eat together. Hmm. I guess I'll go with potato salad today. Oh, you talk. I'm glad I found you. Uh-huh. I knew you'd either be here at the park. Oh, come on. Here's a scarf you lent Tane the other day. Oh, Minoru. Pop said I should give it back to you ASAP since it's getting cold. And my grandma made these this morning. And I thought we could share. It's taro, nikorogashi, and lotus root uh, kimpera. This is so kind. Thank you. I was actually just thinking that I wanted to see you guys. So this was a nice surprise. Oh, really? Tane isn't with me today, though. He's at preschool. I'm glad it's just you. Oh, oh, yes, please. Um, Nikorogashi is made by boiling root vegetables in broth until the liquid evaporates. And kimpera is burdock roots and carrots cooked in sugar and soy sauce. Burdock, I think of Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, I see. Oh, later. Wait, no. Oh, me too. No, 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 no. You're not really going to go eat this. Are you really not going to eat this with me? You've come all this way. What do I say? I don't even want to look at another potato for at least a month. Who do you think had to peel all these? I'm so stupidly happy to think that eating with someone could bring me this much joy. What is this? It's so good. It's my newest concoction, spam. Spam and wasabi mayo. What? Mm. And him working at the ceramic store or at... Oh, no, that's his last name is Ueda. Is Ueda. Him working. Hmm. I've never looked forward to the weekends until now. I've never run just because I was so desperate to see someone. I'd take the tonkatsu and the karage, please. The big ones, please. I smell curry. Oh, Yukata, welcome home. I'm home. Ah, the heart. Guess what? The curry just got done. Just got done. I was like, where's Yukata? And so I came to find you. Is that so? Thank you. Oh, oh, they just give me a little hug. What are you guys doing out here? Oh, Minoru. I bought some fried food that might go nicely with the curry and some salad and beer. Ever since meeting these two, I... Let's see, it's so good. Oh, this is unbelievable. Minoru, you're really good at making curry. You're a genius, big brother. I just followed the instructions on the curry roux box. Anybody can make a decent curry. I can't stop eating. I can't stop. More. More, huh? <laughs> can, can an old man join? Curry, it looks so good. It seems like you're having fun. Oh, sorry. Everyone's had seconds, so we're out. Hello. What? Daddy. Oh, my God. Daddy, don't die. I need curry. Oh, my God. Please. I love this. Thanks for having me over. Yutaka. Hmm. It's Christmas. Next weekend, it's Christmas. If you don't have any plans, why don't you- Yukata! Wait, I have something for you! Christmas patty for Yukata. For Mdane. Invitation. Yes, we're having a Christmas party Saturday night. You should come. We'll have cake, too. Tanakun, you're quite the artist. All right, I'll be there. Yutaka, you don't need to bring anything. Okay, thank you. His stupid family is going to try to get involved with this and make it a big deal. And I'm going to be pissed because this is too precious. No. Why do you always have to interrupt? Oh, he was going to try to say something else. And then Tane came in. Mm -hmm. You look better with a squishy face. It's bath time anyway. It's Patty. This is the first time I've had plans on Christmas. I'm so excited. I don't think I've ever been this close to anyone. Oh, no. Oh, no, he's sick. Damn it. No. You've got to be kidding me. You've got a cold. I'm sorry. My fever's high. Will you be okay? I took some medicine. Maybe it's my fault. Your fault. I got excited about the party. I gave myself a fever and now I can't come. Pfft. Don't laugh. Sorry. Sorry. I just don't know. I didn't know you were so excited about our dumb party. I was. I wanted to eat cake and have fun with you guys. Next up, we'll turn over to... 
Aww. Why did it have to be today? Why do I always have to end up alone? It's so strange. I used to think that was just the way things were. Oh. Utaka Kun, you can come over too. Nah, you can just stay over there. We're better off without you. On days like this, all those bad memories come bubbling up. I'm thirsty and hungry. Someone. No! Oh! Miru! What are you? I called you over and over, but you didn't pick up. What, really? I must have not noticed. I was afraid you'd passed out alone in your apartment. Your line, your line profile it had your address. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad you're alive, Yutaka. Oh, thank you for coming all. <laughs> the udon will be done soon. Oh my God, this is so romantic. I love this so much. Oh my God, all the things, all the feels. Udon, you're not making okayu? No, oh no. In my mouse, we usually eat udon when we're sick. You don't like it? Well, that's not it. I like udon. Good. Okay, good. Get some rest and I'll wake you up when it's ready. It says a type of porridge that is often eaten by people when they're sick. Oh, that's what okayu is. Okay. Here you go. Oh, it looks great. Thank you for making this. Is it any good? Yeah, it's super good and hot. It's the only thing I really know how to cook. I used to make it whenever mom got sick. She's the one who taught me how. This stupid series is gonna make me cry like a baby. Aww. Thank you again for the food. Me and Aru's mother. Mm -hmm. And that and why he came over so quickly thinking that he had passed out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's all making sense. I'm gonna leave yogurt and fruit in your fridge. You can have some later. I can pay you back for all this. Thank you. Could you grab the cooling pad from the egg holder? Do you want me to put it on for you? Oh, this is, uh huh. I'm so glad you came over Manaru. When I was here all by myself, I could feel my mind and body getting worse. And all these memories came flooding back and I just felt so unspeakably lonely. Are you going home now? No, I can stay here so you don't feel so lonely. Stop! Oh! <laughs> it's so quiet without Tani-kun. Utaka, while I got you here, I want to say something. What is it? I want to know everything about you. Utaka. Can I really tell him? Can I say it out loud? Only now and only with him do I feel like I could talk about it. I hope you caught it is okay. <laughs> He's clingy. Oh, it's all right. If something's wrong, Minoru will call us. You caught him won't die, Willie. No, he won't. Don't you worry. I want to talk to him on the phone. Well, for now, we'll just need to be patient. Does he know? Does the dad know? I think your dad knows. Oh, oh my God. These two. What a bunch of goons. What a bunch of goons. There, there. That day, maybe because Manaru's shoulder was so warm and comfortable, or maybe because the medicine was so powerful, Feel better soon. Forget to tell, forgot to tell you earlier, but Tane wanted me to give you these. But I fell asleep before I knew it. And I didn't get the chance to tell him. Oh. Minoru, welcome home. How was Yukata kun? Tane fell asleep. Oh, hey, I got him to eat something, so he should be okay. I was worried he had something serious like the flu, but it seems he's on the mend. You really like Yukata, don't you? What? I've just never seen you get this close to anyone. Since your mother passed and you took a break from school, you've always been busy working or looking after Tane. It makes me happy and you you and Tane seem happier too. Minoru, thank you for all that you do. Can I give you a kiss? Yeah, yeah, don't kiss me. That night I dreamed. Someone with a large hand was gently rubbing my head and it felt nice. My brother? Um, 
I want to know everything about you, Yutaka. You know, there was, I do want to tell you. So he didn't get a chance to tell him. Ah, uh, here's what's left of the Christmas cake. I saved it for you. Oh, wow. Ice cream. This is all for me. Oh, but I want some. I thought there were, I thought there was more. You've had enough cake, Tane. This is Yutaka's. Tomorrow starts the end of your break. Today we had a half a day. All right, just one bite. Hey! Manoru, thank you again for taking care of me the other day. It's no problem. Oh. So, about those things you asked me last time. Oh, can we pick up where we left off? Oh, you talk, you caught it. Look what daddy gave me for Christmas. A hundred color pastels, non-toxic. See, I can draw so many pictures now. Oh, that's so cool. Tane, please quit butting in. <laughs> oh, dad's home. You caught it. Good to see you. Hey, Tane-kun, come help me knead the clay. Come here, come here. Let's make a humongous poop. Oh, a humongous poop. Oh, his dad is so smooth. His dad is MVP of this damn manga. Yes. You caught it after we make the poop. I'll give it to you. Oh, great. There's a lot of drawn pictures he's drawn. Yeah, he's been drawing nonstop since Christmas. It's like he drew himself a hundred friends. <laughs> I think that one's supposed to be a picture of you, Yutaka. It's like how I'd imagine you as a kid. Oh, I guess you're right. I can see the resemblance. I used to have huge Coke bottle glasses like these. Hello there. <laughs> Hello. I would like you to tell, I would like to tell you my story today. Is that okay? Yeah, okay, go ahead. This is gonna make me cry. I, I lost my real parents when I was four years old. After that, I lived with my grandparents for a while. And then they passed. When I was eight, I was sent to live with relatives. Their house was a place of great wealth. Our meals were always prepared by a professional chef. My adopted parents gave me all the same resources and opportunities as their own kids. I knew I was very lucky. But my adopted brother, who is five years older than I am, never accepted me. He felt like I'd forced my way into his family. This isn't really your home. Mom and Dad and my sisters, they're all mine. Most nights, my adopted parents were busy at work, so we kids usually would eat together without them. Yutaka, you're such a slob when you eat. You have no manners. It's because you're not like us. Those meals, they were hell on earth for me. You know, Yutaka, your teeth are like fangs. I can't even eat with you around. After a while, I just decided to eat by myself. This is sort of funny, eating by myself. You know, I can't even remember the taste of the food I ate back then. Even after I became an adult and left that house and made friends, dated people, I was always too afraid to share a meal with anyone. I can't even remember the taste of my parents or grandparents' food. For the longest time, I didn't have a single happy dinner table memory. It was just another thing that I was missing. And then, Yukata, come eat with us. Just having you here is more than enough, Yutaka. Eating together really does taste better, and I don't know why. But since I met the two of you, it was the first time I could relax and enjoy eating with others. Oh, and so, um, there you have it. Oh, thank you so much for reaching out to me that day. Yutaka. Hey, here's a tissue. You kinda, I made a big poo, come see. Oh my God. Oh, literally you made, you gotta cry. No, I didn't. You got it all wrong. You tell you gotta don't cry. You were the one who's crying. Do you feel better now, Tony Coon? Yeah. Sorry, I frightened you. It's okay. You caught it. Were you bullied? No, no. Then why were you crying? Did something sad happen? Do you want me to rub your head? There, there. Thank you, Tony Coon. Oh, this is so good. I'm all right now. Hey, <laughs> if you're hungry, why not have some onigiri? <laughs> if you're hungry, why not have some onigiri? Are those faces? Tane asked me to make onigiri men for him. 
fish paste, grilled nori, cheese, fish cake by Minoru. It's so cute, I can't eat it. <laughs> Those two aren't bothered at all. I can't look it in the eyes. Gosh. It's cold! Oh, my brother. What a pretty girl. Maybe she's his girlfriend. Lucky her to be someone my brother loves. Someone who looks on with a smile. I've always, always envied that. I just wanted him to care for me too. But it doesn't matter anymore. Yutaka, oh, what's up? Why'd you want to see me all of a sudden? Oh, I'm sorry, I just wanted to take a walk with you. No worries, it's cool, I just got off work. Oh, I can tell. You smell great, Minoru. Oh, like tonkotsu soup. Hey, you should come by sometime. The food's really good. It'd be on the house. Oh, I definitely I will. Where's Tanikun and I? Oh, he's at home with Grandma. He asked if we could celebrate the New Year together. I'm headed over there myself. Well, that sounds nice. What about you, Yutaka? What about New Year's Day? Oh, I was thinking of stopping by to see my family. Will you be okay? Oh, hey, Tani asked if we could all make our first shrine visit together. Let's go then. There's a stall there that sells the most amazing red bean soup. Now we definitely have to go. It sounds fun. Oh, the snow's getting on my glasses. I can't see. Yeah, it's really coming down. Do you want to hit a cafe or something? Oh, my God. I, 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 ah! You talk out here. Let me see your glasses. I've been dying to try these on. But you have good eyesight. How do I look? Oh, they look nice on you. Stop it, you two! Oh! Yutaka, I'm the one who should be thanking you. You're the one who reached out to me. Oh, when did I? Oh! Oh, Mino! When our mom died, instead of feeling sad or missing her, felt relieved. She was always frail, but she just had to have that second child, didn't she? After that, she barely had the energy to sleep. It was awful. Please stop. She wanted those children more than anything. I just feel sorry for Minoru. Oh, Bretter. Where's mommy? Is she sleeping? No. At the hospital? No. When can I see her? You can't. Not anymore. Nobody can. Oh, Shivamanga, why are you trying to make me cry? Minoru, ever since I was little, I've been terrified of my mother leaving me. I'll see you again when I'm better. When she finally passed, that release should have meant I had nothing to be afraid of anymore. While I'm in the hospital, I need you to be a good boy and wait for me. So she was sick for a long time. Oh, wow. I thought my anxiety would go away. My heart would get a little lighter. Minoru, what do you want for dinner? Tony's finally asleep. Yeah, he was throwing a tantrum a few minutes ago. I guess he cried himself out. Thank you, Minoru. Good work. Sure. Is there anything you want to eat? Not really. I'm not that hungry. You have to eat something. I know. What I want to eat is mom's cooking. The truth was, nothing got easier. The only difference was that instead of all the anxiety, now I had a hole inside of me that I could never fill. Manaru, is it true that you dropped out? I'm not quitting. I'm just taking a break. Anyway, it's not like I can concentrate on classes right now. Why didn't you come talk to me? That's a huge decision. Oh, no. Geez, I'm sorry. It's whatever. You aren't listening anyway. Girl, he just lost his mom. What? what? It's not like we can really talk when you insist on dragging him along. Oh, my gosh. Girl, leave that bitch behind. What? No. Pick me up. No, you're getting heavy. You need to walk. Pick me up. No. Pick me up. Why are you so loud? I don't give a crap anymore. Lay there forever, then see if I care. Hey, are you okay? 
Can you stand up for me? It's not safe to lie on the ground like that. There now, good job. You're a good boy. There was nothing really special at that time. Your dad must be looking for you. Great job, you're a good boy. Sorry. Really, I'm so sorry. What am I doing? I am so sorry. N no, no, really, it's all right. Besides, I don't even remember meeting two years ago. Oh my God, he's not even thinking about the kiss. He's thinking about the meeting two years ago and not realizing it. He did kiss me earlier. My mind is racing. Itaka, what is happening? I like you. I love you. Mm. <laughs> with, the, with the bear hat on. Oh my God. I love you. Oh, my head hurts. No, not my head. It's my chest, my heart. I'd almost forgotten it was there. I love you. Ever since I met you and started spending time with you, it's the first time I've ever really felt alive. Figuring out what we're going to eat with Tane or whatever we're going to do. Just having you there makes me feel so calm. But I'm sorry we're closing up soon. Oh no! Minoru, what were you going to say after but? I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, come on now! I didn't want to put that burden on you, Yutaka. But then it just slipped out. I'm sorry. You talk again, we shake hands. What? Huh? Shake hands? That way, this can be the final time we touch. Oh, don't be like that! Oh, I want things to stay the way they've been. Oh, it's hot. Minoru's hand is about the same size as mine, a bit rougher, maybe. Minoru and his lips. Just keep living the way we've been living. That's impossible now, Minoru. It's impossible. Big brother, you're acting weird tonight. What's wrong? Are you hurt? Did something happen? Tane-chan, what? I'm sorry. We probably can't make our first shrine visit with Yutaka anymore. What? What I mean is, Yutaka might not want to come to our house anymore. Why not? Oh my God, quit moping. Big brother, did you get in a fight with Yukata? We can go say sorry to him together. Oh my God, yes, please do. It's time for our New Year's Eve countdown. Our next artist is... There's only a little time left in the year. This has no flavor. It's been several days. I haven't heard anything from Minoru, and there's nothing I can do. The first shrine visit, what should I do? Minoru. At first, I thought he was pretty scary. I had no idea what was going on in his head, but before I knew it, Yutaka, Yutaka. Let's start the countdown. Oh, Minoru has become 10, 9, 8, 7. What am I supposed to do? I just can't never see him again. Six. That way, this can be the final time. Much. Five. Four. But it was all fine being touched by him. Kissing him. Three. I didn't hate any of it. Two. One. Happy New Year. Oh. Taka, what are you doing? Um, what are you doing? What? I went out to buy sake for Pop and some Nikuman buns. Happy New Year! Yeah, Happy New Year to you too! Let's have a really great year! Yeah, let's do that! Um, I was at my house thinking about- Oh! <laughs> damn it, no! Oh no, don't mind me, as you were! <laughs> Come on, Yutaka, let's talk over here! Oh wait, Minoru, wait, leave, leave the sake with me! Here, I have a Nikamon. I just got him at the store. Thanks. Oh my god, I love this so much. Oh. I thought you'd never want to see me again. Minoru. I also... What? I tried. I tried to tell you that I love you too. But those words, they aren't enough to capture how I truly feel. You are so important to me. I want to be with you always, Minoru, forever. 
me. It's all right for you to touch me. <laughs> what? See? It's all right. Oh, I love the little boom, 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 booms. Oh. It's like learning a new way to use my heart. You taste like Nukumon. What? Oh, chapter seven. Oh. The new year. Wow, everything smells so good. Look at the stalls. I'm hungry. Yukata, you can buy me takoyaki. Oh, takoyaki, that sounds like a plan. Hey, visiting the shrine comes first and we're getting rid of being soup, so no takoyaki. Minoru, just a little wouldn't hurt, right? He's practically eating his way through this new year. <laughs> we had so many relatives stop by with stuff. Oh, I see. Yeah, so don't you go spoiling him too, Yutaka. But just looking at Tanekun makes me want to spoil him. Don't you dare. Anytime you want to buy him something, spoil me instead. Wait a second, did you guys make up? Huh? <laughs> Blow on it for me. You know, say ah. It's so good. Make sure you chew your mochi all the way, Tony Coon. This is good. You gotta give me some more. Okay, okay. What'd you wish for? Let's see, for a happy home life. No injuries or catastrophes. Injuries, cat ta. And one more thing. The three of us can come here again next year. Minoru, would you like some? No. Watching you two is making me lose my appetite. Minoru. Yeah. Is something the matter? You've been quiet all day. and You're not your usual self. No, it's nothing. I was just worried you might be sick. I was just thinking how happy I am. Right now I'm happy. So darn happy. Yeah, me too. Me too. Happy and scared. Scared? Hmm. We're making hot pot this weekend. You want to come over? Tane wants to see you. Definitely going. Hozumi-san, great job today. Are you on your break? Oh, yes. You did a great job too. So what's up? You had a big old grin on your face just now. Is that a line message? Do you have a lover? <laughs> what? No. I mean, I guess I do. I I'm, I'm dating Minoru, but how do I... Oh, uh, well, I knew it. You're so easy to read, Hozumi-san. You've been so much cheerier lately, Hozumi-san. You even came out drinking with us. Everybody's noticed. You don't smoke anymore either. Yeah, I quit. I'm worried about how I smell. Well, congratulations. That's great. That's all really wonderful. I hope you'll be happy. My boyfriend and I just broke up. I'm so upset. Now I can't even talk about it with our old friends. Broke up. So, hey, if you know any decent single guys, let me know. That's right. Being together like this also means that someday, if I broke up with Minoru, would that mean I wouldn't get to see Takekun anymore? I'm scared. I'm happy and scared. Me too. What do I do? Behold the secret Ueda family dad special. Kimchi tomato hot pot. <laughs> All right, let's eat. Kimchi tomato. It's kimchi hot pot with tomato and cheese in it. I make it like this so Tani can enjoy it too. It's milder this way. Oh, you just threw in whatever we had, didn't you? <laughs> now then, you talk Kuhn, you get first dibs. Oh, thank you. Potatoes. The tomato and kimchi go together perfectly. You, sir, are a genius, right? Watch it, Yutaka. Don't encourage him. Yutaka Kuhn, I bet you could go for some more. Yes, sir. This would be great with some baguette. More please, Daddy! I'll heat some up. Oh, it's so good, right? Have some more. Don't be shy. Don't eat too much. Brother, can I have some more? It's wonderful. You're really a good cook. <laughs> you talk a coon. Now let's finish up with cheese risotto. You talk a coon. I have wine and sake. Let's drink together. You talk a coon. We also have dessert. You talk, are you okay? I'm sorry, Minoru. My old man's a real lush. You drank too much, didn't you? Where are your dad and Tane Coon? They're in the bath. Why don't you stay over tonight? It's so late. I could lend you some of my clothes. Mm-hmm. Oh, you got it. Guess what? Daddy said you could stay over tonight. He also said to go ahead and take your bath. Thank you very much. Oh, my God. Minoru's like, I hate this. Tane, help me get... 
Uh, you talk a futon. No, I want to get in the bathroom. You gotta. You already had your bath. <laughs> of course, eat in between them. <laughs> you caught us next to me. You caught us. Read me a book. Sing me a song. Hey, time for your bed, brat. Save for tomorrow. Lights out. Good night, you caught a big brother. Good night. Good night. I'm so happy. I ate to my heart's content. We're all sleeping next to each other. I'm warm from my head to my toes. These feelings. Yutaka. Hmm? Are you still awake? Yeah. Tane's in the way. Do you mind if I come over there? <laughs> Miru. I've been wanting to talk to you too. It's funny you seeing you in my clothes. Thanks for everything today. It was a lot of fun. Um. I can't tell him. I'm scared. I'm so scared. This fear, this horrible thought that's coming from my own mind. This thought that if it's all going to end in pain, I should just leave now when the wound won't be too deep. I can't. Oh, that's better. Oh, sir, are you all right? Sitting out here at this hour. Oh, oh, you talk a coon. Perfect timing. I was just telling my wife about you. I told her that Minoru and Tane made themselves a good friend. Mrs. Ueda. Oh. Thank you very much. Nah, I'll tell her everything. When I get drunk, though, I tend to miss her more. I talked to her for a long time. Oh. Why is this manga determined to make me cry? Why? I ask you something? How did you ever get past the loneliness and pain of losing your wife? I lost my parents and grandparents when I was very little. I almost have no memories of them. And now I feel like my life's begun again. And I have someone I love. And people who are precious to me. When I think about losing them. When I imagine parting with them. I don't think I can handle it. I'm so scared. For the first time I'm not alone. What do I do? The truth is, I haven't gotten past it. I'm stuck like this. Even now, I miss my wife terribly. Sometimes, I get to crying alone at night, wondering if things would be easier if we'd never met. But in the end, I'm okay with feeling like this. I think falling in love with someone means also accepting the pain of losing them. That pain is proof that I ever loved her at all. I can take that pain and be okay. It's all right. You aren't alone, you talk a coon. Oh my god! I'm so glad you met Minoru and Tane. Thank you. Ah! Oh. Together you can take on the pain of loss. I'm sure I'll never forget this night as long as I live. Tane's cute sleeping face and the heat of Minro's hand holding mine and my newfound conviction. Oh my god. Ugh. 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 I have to tell Minro. Oh, you talk a good morning. Thank you for everything the other night. Where's Minro? Are you cleaning? Play with me! He's working his part-time job at the ramen shop. Could you tell me how to get there? Welcome! What? What's this? What are you two doing together? I asked your dad where we were, and we came to visit you. I'll have whatever ramen you recommend, please. Order whatever you want, Tane Kun. I'll take my break and eat with you guys. What do you do here? I work here. Sit down. Minoru. Let's be together like this from now on. Let's eat together always. And let's live together. Okay, why did you answer? Oh my god! Ah, oh, oh, oh. Our ever after. Tana Kuhn, you left your lunch by the door. You talk a thanks. Oh, did he cut his hair? Give that exam your all. I'll put some Krage in there for you. Tana Kuhn, who is that? Oh, he. 
lives with us. I guess you could say he's my brother's, I mean, my, are you studying Tanakin? Oh, wait, wait. Oh, is that Tane? Oh, that is Tane. Oh, no. I didn't realize he was older. Oh, oh, I thought that, oh, where was my head? My head. I thought he was, I thought, I thought that Minoru was going back to school and he made him a lunch. No. Oh my God. Tane can grow up. Oh, he's my brother's. I mean, he's my, mm. are you studying Tane Kun? I'm about to make some cocoa. Do you want some? Sure. It sounds good. He looks so much like Minoru. I was confused for a second. Where's Pop? He's asleep already. I've always loved your cocoa, Itaka. Oh, he calls him Itaka now. Yeah. I only stir in a little bit of hot water at a time. It takes a light touch. Pop and my brother just dump it all in there. We have rice crackers too. All right. Why do salty rice crackers go well with cocoa? It's the best combination. Or potato chips. Oh. Minoru called earlier. He said he'll be back from his business trip on Friday. He brought you tons of mintaiko as souvenirs. Or sliced polygro. Oh. You talk and make me some mintaiko onigiri. Oh, I've been thinking. I can't believe how big you've gotten, Tanikun. To me, I guess you'll always just be my little tiny coon. I'm home. Welcome back, big brother. We're doing fine without you, though. <laughs> Is that so? I guess you don't want this Mintaiko, then. Tiny Taraco. Taraco is a salted roe. Aww. Thank you for picking up our dining table. I'm Mita Ori. People watching, watching people eat and enjoy their food makes me happy. Maybe because they're so vulnerable. I wonder why. I drew this manga because I wanted to tell the story of a dining table shared by three people. Considering the title, I'm sorry I couldn't showcase more recipes within the work itself. I really don't know that many. But the Donabe rice is really good, so definitely try it. A little more about our protagonists. You talk as a bit of a softy, though. The kanji for their names combine to make the word for bountiful or fertile crops. It fits. Their relationship moves slowly, and I worried there weren't enough romantic moments. To be honest, I never figured out who was the sime and who was the uke, but the two of them have plenty of time to decide. <laughs> Since they were physically similar, I tried mixing up their clothes a bit. And then there's Tane Kun. He's always moving, so he's fun to draw. Thanks, Tane Kun. I'm four years old. Kids' winter clothes are so cute and comfy. He loves sake and wants to be his son's friend. Dad, oh yeah. There are many things I didn't get to draw, like how the piercings Minoru wore were from his mother. Oh. Or dad's ceramics. Or Yutaka's actual job. Their lives bloom so vividly in my mind that they've become precious to me like family. Still, I'm relieved so much that it made it into this volume. To my editor, my readers, and everyone who helped along the way, thank you very much. Until we meet again. Oh. Oh. Boys love cooked to perfection. Eating around other people is a struggle for salary man Yutaka, despite his talent for cooking. All that changes when he meets Minoru and Tani, two brothers many years apart in age, who ask him to teach him how to make his delicious food. It's not long before Yutaka finds himself falling hard for the meals they share together and falling in love. Shut up. Oh my gosh. Y'all. This was absolutely precious beyond precious this this made up <laughs> this made up for the, the this made up for the lack of bl and romance in in uh jingai this was like this was so sweet and fluffy and adorable and i love it <laughs> this was so good y'all oh my god i love this so much for so many different reasons i oh my god i can relate to there was a lot of ways in which I could relate to uh, Yutaka just in like his like way about social cues and just the way about like being afraid of how people think of you and being afraid of being influenced. And I think so many people can relate to that, uh, that fear of being in a relationship and what if it doesn't work out? What if you invest all this time and you really enjoy it and then it doesn't work out and then you have to separate from them and it's like, was that worth the pain was the love worth the pain that you get and i love that conversation with the dad at the end where he's like well 
yeah, I'm still stuck. I'm not over her and I may never be, but the pain of losing her is proof that the love was worth it. And, oh, it's so good. And I, I kind of love, like, normally in stories like these, like, the unspoken elements, like, the fact that we never got to see him confront the family again, the fact that we got that, the fact that there was, like, little bits about the mom and her sickness revealed, but not a lot about it, just that she was sick for a very long time and had Tane and then died shortly after, like, all of that. Like, normally in a series, you would want that to get more explained. But no, I liked that this was just a succinct story about Minoru and 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 Yutaka because yeah that was that was kind of the thing too is that for Yutaka I liked the fact that he was like no this family was toxic and I don't need to be around it and I need to just find my own family to feel more comfortable and he does that with Tane and their family and that's such a good message because I think oftentimes I think in stories and in real life we kind of push this narrative of we have to we have to be with our family like our blood related family or in this case they are blood related but they're just more distant and that we have to make it work and i'm glad that you talk it doesn't i'm glad that he ends up being with with minoru and his family because his because minoru and his brother and his dad accept you and they welcome into their they welcome him into their family with open arms whereas you could instantly tell in the grocery store that the brother was not going to be welcomed and I, I like this idea that the author isn't trying to push something to happen that wasn't a good idea. I'm so glad that's the case because I think that it would have just made things more tense. And I was afraid it was going to go that angle of Utaka shows up at the family get together and then they take his sexuality as something that's an even bigger problem. I like that wasn't even an issue. Like that wasn't even the trope of the sexuality being like something holding them back. Like Tani kind of at the end when he's like, oh, he's my brother's. Uh, we do we talk about it because it's still outlawed in Japan do we say anything like I, I get that that's why the Tane was like how do I explain it you know without saying that they're it's his partner you know but I like that that wasn't the focus of the story the focus was Yutaka figuring out that it's okay to build these relationships with people and to not be worried about if and when they fall apart because that's not the point the point is you have these relationships and they're they're meaningful and if they fall apart, at least they were worthwhile while they were worthwhile, you know? And that's so beautiful. Like, I nearly cried like four times reading this. I was like, oh, series. I I knew that if I started crying, I would just be a mess and I wouldn't stop. And so I was like, no, you have to keep on it. But, oh, uh, and I love this too. Like, I, I've been dealing a lot. Like, we're going to be watching some spicy stuff for Janu Yaoi. Don't get me wrong. This is like the fluff of all fluffs. Um, we're going to be watching some spicy stuff. Just how it goes. But I've been having a lot of issues with people like in chats and in comments on social media and just thinking that Yaoi and BL is just sex and smut. This should be proof that that is not the case. This is like so wholesome and beautiful, but it was so romantic and just like all the subtle little things of, of Minoru being like, like, you know, like all the little date stuff that he did, like the little cues, the nonverbals, like everything about it. It was so romantic and beautiful but there was like no sex at all. It was like just they, they held hands under a blanket and that was like the most romantic thing they did other than kiss each other. And I'm like, see, that's how you do it. It doesn't have to be smut. Yaoi doesn't have to be just sex. It can be something simple and romantic and cute and have so much meaning behind it. And oh, oh, my heart, my heart just in pieces in the best way. <laughs> I love this so much. It was so beautiful and sweet and I want to reread it. I'm so glad I got this. I bought it. So I was like, now I have it forever. So, so whoever recommended this, thank you so much. I'm glad this, this took the cake for Janu Yaoi. I'm glad this made the, made it on there. The honorary mention of Janu Yaoi for this year. Oh, just so happy. So happy about it. But I'm glad this has started us off for the month. Now, there's going to be some spicier stuff, I'm sure, that come out in Janu Yaoi. But this was the most adorable. I would put this up here like Sasaki and Miyano. Set this up there with them. Set it up there with Given. If you want some some fluff in your BL, but you don't want things to be too spicy, this is this is perfection. This is just, like, I couldn't love this more. And I'm, now I'm sad. You know, it's like you get greedy. You're like, I want more with them. But it's like, ah, oh, nope. Just be happy with what you get. 
reread it and enjoy it. So I'm so excited to hear your comments down below. I hope you all enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed it because it was beautiful and wonderful and I loved it. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Please stay safe. Take care. Highly recommend. Go to Seven Seas. Buy this manga. It's so good. You won't regret it. I loved it so much. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. Please stay safe. Take care. And yeah, I'll be back next week with our next installment for Jan Yaoi. See you then.